What's up, guys? This is Showtime's Fight Forum. I'm your host, Showtime. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm first. Let me go ahead and get out some stuff before I have to take my L like a man. So first, I want to say I'm wearing Unbothered because I am featured on a show called Unbothered. It's a web series on YouTube. Please support. It's on my page if you guys want to check it out. Showtime Sanders. Um, I have links up there. If you want to go straight to the source, you can go on YouTube at Confused Style Art, and then you can also find it there. And yeah, or you can just YouTube. Um, go you can YouTube search Unbothered web series. It'll come up. Um, we got almost a thousand views. I'm hyped. We already won a couple awards. I'm super excited about it. I um, also want to give a shout out to my boy Carrie Caprio, one of my former teammates uh, in college. Actually, my boy just signed a deal with Bare Knuckle Brawl. I'm excited for him, man. Hey, look, 125 is better watch out, man. My boy ought to be ready with these hands. All right, I guess now I got to go ahead and you know get into my spill. I took an L, y'all. All right, I said this is the most confident I've ever been. Put the house on. Tyron, this, that, and the third. And if you did put the house in your homeless now, you can't stay with me, but I'm sorry. I want to apologize for everything I said. And I, I was confident. If I went back, would I change it? Hell no. I, I'm not even going to be one of those people to say, it's rigged. I was right. I'm not even going to be like Tyron and say, Tyron won the fight. No, he didn't. Tyron lost. He lost. Simple and plain. I scored it 5-3, Jake Paul. I even like, oh, I almost threw up even like it's it's crazy. I, I have to even say it multiple times. But but Jake Paul's better. And I have to eat crow and I have to say Jake Paul's much better than I thought he was. Is he good? Hell no. Nah. Would I still think I could beat him? Yes, I do. Reason why is because I, the only reason why Tyron lost is this reason why he loses all his fights now. He don't throw punches. He don't do anything. Like, like, I get his mindset. He was honestly trying to go the route that Floyd went with Conor McGregor. What did, Con what did Floyd, Floyd do? He did absolutely nothing for three rounds. He walked Conor down for three rounds. Eventually, it started to wear on Conor. Conor started to get tired. Once he did, Floyd started going to the body a lot. Then started going up top. And eventually wore him out. And, you know, obviously we know he got TKO'd. There's a couple things that's wrong with that. One. This is an eight-round fight. As I recall, the Floyd fight was 12 rounds. He had a lot more room. He had a lot more room to work. Two, Floyd was, even though he took those rounds off, the times that he was active, he was very active. He wasn't just walking him down. He was walking him down with punches. Tyron, for most of this fight, was just walking Jake down. That's it. He wasn't walking down throwing punches. And when he did, it would just be one or two. He wouldn't follow up with anything. And the person who landed the harder shots and most of the shots throughout the fight was Jake Paul. I mean, even the round where Tyron stunned him, he got stunned right back and stumbled. I was like, what the hell is going on? What are you doing, Tyron? And then we already know, like, once he knocked him through the ropes, what are, what are you doing this for? You're not Sugar Ray Leonard. What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing that for? What is that? What is that? How does that help you? I don't it, Right then and there, you should have went Nate Diaz route. That's where you walk him down. That's when you get a lot more aggressive, throw your heavy shots, kill. It's that kill in your eye. And he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that. Like, I don't, I would say he don't have that anymore. Some people want to say and say, oh, yeah, ever since the Usman fight, you know, he's been gun shy. Wrong. He's been like that most of his career, actually. Most of his career, Tyron has been a very inactive fighter. He just normally lands the big shot. And then that's all we know. I mean, do we forget him fighting Roy McDonald? Did we not also forget the, the Robbie Lawler fight? Do we not remember how that Robbie Lawler fight went? Nothing happened until that punch landed. Nothing. So, I mean, we have to understand that's the way he fights. I did bring that up and say if, it, if, if he does lose, it's because he's inactive. That is what happened. I thought that with it, you know, the, he would not want to be embarrassed by losing to a YouTube star and a Disney guy. So he would be a lot more um, active. And then also, you know, not give him the respect of him having power. Uh, but he did give him respect that he had power because he walked into some shots and he got lit up a little bit. Um, I saw the sweat bounce off his head. It looked like a daggone whole ecosystem that was coming out of his head at times. It was it was was not a good fight for him. It wasn't. Um, it was competitive, but yeah. Now I guess the thing would be what's next for both Tyron retire. It's over. Like I'm never ever ever. Be I'm not betting 
on you ever again. You can fight Mickey Mouse. It ain't happening. I'm putting my money on Mickey Mouse. You, it's just not for you anymore. I'm happy you got the bag. I, I'm a full supporter of you as a person. You seem like a really good dude and got a good head on your shoulder. But it's it's a wrap, bro. Your fighting career is over. Go to acting, and uh, you know your your other you're a great commentator. There's a lot of things you can do outside of fighting, but this isn't your thing. You're 40 years old. Just move on. Jake Paul, I'm not gonna say you were exposed, but we now know one. You aren't Mike Tyson, so this whole I can knock everybody out. We obviously know you can't. Um, Tyron is the smaller guy, and he really wasn't like he was dazed. But he really wasn't like on his way out. Your, your power landed flush multiple times, and Tyron walked through those. And so, you know, it's kind of that myth is out. We know your cardio's trash. We already knew this, though. Like, I can say we, I knew, already knew your cardio was going to be awful. And it's not even an indictment to you. It's the fact that, one, you're not a boxer. You haven't been in, you don't have much mat experience, like ring experience, I mean. So we we know if you don't have ring experience, once you get into those later rounds, you're going to get tired. But he, in my opinion, you did very well for a person that was exhausted. He still fought through. He didn't give up. Like he did a the funny thing is, he reacted to being tired better than Connor did. Cause when Connor gets tired, it's honestly default mode. It's like, all right, how can I lose respectfully? Jake really didn't do that. He was tired and he was like, all right, well, I'm you're gonna have to knock me out. He didn't get knocked out. Tyron should have showed him the door, but you know, Tyron wasn't active. But yeah, so what's next for Jake? What's next? What's next? My thing is, I think that there's a couple fights that he should do. Um, Dylan Dennis is there. He's not that popular. He's not as popular as Tyron. So I don't really, you know, think he'll make as much money with Dylan, but that's still an easy W. You could still go uh, Tommy Fury, who looked awful. And we all, he has a name. He has a bit fan base. So you can easily take that route. Or three, if you want to go like a step above Tyron and you want to like challenge yourself, then the route probably would be Anderson Silva. Um, and I would say that that's a, I'm not going to say it's winnable because you're going to get your ass whooped. But if you beat him, like legit, I don't really see too many people. Like, granted, he's still older and his reflexes still aren't the same. But we all know he's a, when it comes to levels, we know Anderson Silva, Tyron Woodley. Like when it comes to this boxing thing, like Anderson Silva can actually box uh, with the best of them. Not, well, I'm sorry. Ooh, not the best of them, but with a lot of them. So, yeah, like I think Anderson Silva Jorge Masvidal is not a good look. That would be an ass whooping. Like that's like we all know. We if we don't remember, he started in his boxing stuff. He started boxing with Kimbo. Like yeah, that's that's not a right route to go. Connor, no, I still think Connor will whoop you. So yeah, I think the best way to probably be Anderson Silva. Like that's a great name. You're gonna make a lot of money. You're probably still gonna lose, but this has to end eventually. Like you're not gonna be able to keep doing this before people say, all right, he's not fighting the real people. So. Yeah, that or retire. But I mean, if I was Jake, I might look into one more fight, but I'm I max max two fights. I'm not fighting any more than two more times. And then I'm just calling it a career saying I beat a world champion. Bro, like right now, I still would contemplate. I'm already rich, and I can say I outboxed one of the greatest welterweights of all time. What more do I need? But tell me what you think of the fight. I'm super embarrassed and sorry I didn't get this out the week before, but um, I've been really, really busy. So I haven't been able to, you know, film this. I've been hurt. I've been in my cave, but I took an L and I will probably not guarantee any fights ever again. That's not Amanda Nunez or Valentina Sinshaco. Those will be the only two people I will ever guarantee dubs. But thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hope you subscribe and all that good stuff. This is Showtime's Fight Form. You already know what it is.